Hey, what's happening? Welcome to Hot Shot Trials and f***ing Tribulations. What's happening, guys? This is Hot Shot Trials and Tribulations. How y'all doing? We are going to do a review of 2020. <laughs> and our adventures and being a hot shot driver. So, the oil industry kind of took a dive a little bit. I left the oil field. Came uh, back to the DFW Metroplex. Got a fabrication job. Paying pretty daggum good money. And then COVID hit. I got sent home. And actually, everybody got sent home. And well, I had a truck. And I had a trailer. I said, my lovely wife said, hell, let's put them together. I said, let's do it. So we got our DOT or MC or insurance, all that kind of good stuff. Hooked up with a dispatcher. <laughs> dispatcher charged me 350 bucks a week. He got me one load in two weeks. And I said, I'm not, I'm not. I paid, you know, I, I paid him the initial 350 before we got started. And I said, I'm not paying you anymore. You got me one load. I'm not doing it. My wife said, Well, hell, how hard could it be to find a load? She got on truck stop. They had a, a free membership because of COVID. We, and I haven't stopped running since. I stopped running when I want to stop running. And I run when I want to run. And that mean little woman, she keeps me running anywhere between four and seven days a week. <laughs> yeah, so, we were waiting for a load. And I said, f*** it. And uh, I think uh, I looked at a truck stop has videos on how to use the website so i took a day on learning how to do that and the next day got a pretty bad load and uh actually the day before that we had hooked up with uh our factoring company which is eagle capital and uh, man they're they're pretty amazing we had a couple of questions about you know things we didn't know about this business and they they were able to answer our questions and if you're looking for a factoring company, Eagle Capital, they, they're amazing people. So we started running, and we made a run to uh, 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 Utah. And on the way back from Utah, my truck started messing up. Not that was back. what, our second load? Yeah, that was, that was the first load with you, but our second load total. And uh, my truck started messing up. I'm like, oh, crap. So I limped it. I limped it all the way home. I didn't even bother getting a load. Truck kept shutting off. I was like, "Well, that's the end of this." Come to find out, it was the injector pump. Well, I got a lot of good friends, real good friends, uh, that are mechanics. <laughs> now let's talk about the injector pump. Well, the injector pump is a known issue with Chevy. Ford and Dodge. In fact, it's so known there's a class action lawsuit. I did not know this when I bought the truck. Apparently, it's been going on for over a year, this lawsuit. Yep. And I did not know about this when I bought the truck. They don't have recall on it, even though there's a lawsuit going on. Yeah, yeah there's no recall notice, no any of that. And so the injector pump from the, the, the words out of my mechanic friend's mouth is it tried to eat itself. Uh, basically, it was uh, coming apart from the inside, putting metal shards, shavings, all in my injection system, in my fuel railing system, in my fuel tank. And it was just clogging everything up and shutting everything down. So, I get it all the way home. We find the parts. Cost us, what, about a thousand something dollars to fix that. I want to say fifteen hundred. Okay, we'll go with fifteen hundred. That was just <laughs> in parts. Just in parts. So I took it to another shop, and they told me it was going to be fourteen grand, and I'm like, "Holy crap! I can't afford fourteen grand." And he said, "Well, it, it would really just be better just to get a new truck." I mean, he was a hundred percent honest with me. And that shop is pretty amazing. And, and did he say it was a common issue with 
vehicle with trucks as well. Um, yes, he did say it was a common issue that's been going on right now, which which also led me to look up and find out that there was a class action lawsuit. And so me and my buds, we fixed it, and it was it was it was labor intensive. It, you basically had to take the entire top of the top and part of the front of the motor off. You got to take the turbo out. It's 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 a pain. I really wish that we had started this YouTube when we were doing that because it would have been great footage, but it would have been a whole lot of bleeping. <laughs> <laughs> well, we couldn't find anything on how to to do what you guys did, huh? No, no, we found bits and pieces, and but it was on older trucks, and instead of going back with a L5P injector pump, I went with an LML injector pump, uh, which is known to be bulletproof. And so we got back up on the road, and we were going down the road. My lovely wife was dispatching, and it was right in the middle of COVID. And let me tell you, it was it was hard. It was definitely hard. Uh, but yeah, you know, I'm used to working hard. It's it's no I'm no stranger to it. And the pricing was just terrible. I mean, it was just god awful we were lucky to get like a dollar 15 uh, rpm lucky to get it and we were happy to get it because we were like hell yeah that's a that's a good price i mean look at this over here that's 67 cents that's that, a dollar yeah. 15. that was fighting yeah <laughs> for a dollar 15. it was awful it, it, was, it was just terrible and uh, well then my my lovely wife was like well i'd, I'd really like to go on the road and see what you see out there I said, well, come, come take a run with me. <laughs> she ended up staying, <laughs> which was, which was awesome. I, I love having her with me. And everything was going great. I mean, we were making pretty damn good money, actually, really good money. And, finally. Yeah, finally. And then I hit a, uh, an ice patch in Kansas, and slid into a telephone pole at three miles an hour and destroyed the whole front end of my truck. And now granted, I slid into a telephone pole at three miles an hour. I was fully loaded. So uh, at three miles an hour, I, I might as well hit that pole, you know, 40 miles an hour, I guess. You know, it's just every, all that kinetic energy just pushed me right through that pole. Well, <laughs> then we, you know, we filed insurance and we said we were going to fix it ourselves. The insurance company never one time told us that uh, that they were going to have to put an endorsement from the lien holder because we, we are paying on that truck. And well, we will say that uh, I think the the main reason why we're having so many issues is because the peop the the what claim the claims representative representative who we were supposed to be dealing with never we, answered the phone and never called us back in fact we still have yet to talk to that person and everything's done yeah and <laughs> i i have yet to talk to this person like at all period and so they we had to we got the check uh quite a bit later and found out that we had to put an endorsement on it so we had to send the check to colorado to our lien holder and they were really, I don't even understand why, but they were really fighting to keep our check. I guess to put it towards the truck. I don't know. I don't know why they were fighting so hard to keep the check. And the insurance company couldn't figure out why they were fighting so hard to keep the check. But because of my lovely woman here, they have sent us the check. They told us at first that they'd be able to direct deposit it, but apparently that was a lie, so they're just going to send it. And now you are all up to date on how our 2020 went. And, you know, and, and all in all, I'm going to say it, it was actually a pretty good year. Uh, it was tough. It was rough. There was a couple of times where, like, shit, I wish I wouldn't have spent that money from the pipeline before now because I wish I'd have just saved it. <laughs> but, you know, I, nobody knew that this COVID was going to hit. 
So all, all in all, it was actually really good. And, you know, rates went up pretty good. I mean, we we were running just under $3 a mile this past week on the loads that we did this past week. Now, one thing you mentioned with that is the fact that these were short loads. Yeah, they were short loads. <laughs> They were short loads, which is which is nice. I, I would I would love to do nothing but short loads. You don't you don't always have that opportunity. Well, we did experiment that with that this past time. That, that's not our usual no, thing. No, normally we go we go to the to the East Coast and hang out for a while. East Coast has some of the best rates I've ever seen. Uh, we tried to eat, we tried the West Coast. It it was it was it was it was, it was, it was fair to Midland. And uh, so we're gonna keep on running. Well, and I was gonna say, um, when it comes to the fact that uh, us doing the rates at a dollar fifteen and now doing two dollar RPM, I don't know if we will ever do like we might do a dollar fifty. It's if it's like a really long run, and that is, I think, desperate. That, that's a dollar fifty, no tarp. No tarp, yes. <laughs> that, that's a strap and go. Yeah. And now that we know that it's out there and we've seen them and we, we know a little bit more about this business, we have learned so much in a very short amount of time. And, you know, now that we know, we're, we're going to be a little bit more picky. Yeah, we don't, we did not make money at $1.15. I think in the end, I look back on it and we probably would have been better off staying at home. It was not a good idea. But we didn't know what we were doing. We do now. And maybe if you watch this video, you'll say, hey, you know, I've learned some things from these guys here. And if you have any questions, please, please, don't don't hesitate to ask. I mean, I, I, I respond to everybody who sends me a message. And whether I've got 35 subscribers or hopefully in the future, 350,000 subscribers. I will answer every single question that I can. And we're just going to keep making these videos and keep making these runs and just keep pushing forward. And, you know, I said this in another video, and I'm going to say it again. If you have a dream, if you have a thought, if you, if you want to move forward, never, ever quit. Always push forward. If you don't take anything away from these videos, take the fact that you always push forward. Always. And uh, I, I guess we're going to call it on that one. Like, share, subscribe. Tell your mom and dad about me. No kids, I cuss too much.